Hi everyone. This week in reading, we are going to review our text structures that we've been talking about. Text structures are our cause and effect, our sequencing, our compare contrast, um, what's the other one, problem and solution, and the way we describe things. We've talked about, I think, just about every one of those um, so, since we've been in school. And a text structure is a fancy way of saying how the text, how the material is built, how the author builds a text, okay? Because the structure is how something is built. So today we're going to review our cause and effect structure, and we're going to read a book to review cause and effect, and then we're going to work on this worksheet together. So you're going to need to find fighting colds, and we're going to do that after our book, okay? We're going to talk about why do leaves change color with cause and effect, and what is the cause of this, and what is the effect of leaves changing color. Okay. Why do leaves change color? Right here is our table of contents. This would be a nonfiction text feature. This is our nonfiction book, so it's real. And a text feature are things that help us with the text. Our table of contents tells us our chapter names and what page we can find them on. So if I just wanna read about the season of summer, I find summer and I go across and I would be looking on page six, all right? So we're gonna get in here and work on cause and effect. So many colors. Why are leaves on trees different colors? What makes them change color? Now here in Florida, having these different types of trees, you don't see too much, mostly we just see palm trees. So it's good for you to learn about something outside of our state. And this is our heading, it's in bold, so we're gonna be learning about making food. And this is an um, illustration of how leaves make food. So right here it says leaves make food and send it to the rest of the tree. Air passes in and out of a leaf, so air actually goes in and out of a leaf. And leaf gets water through the stem, which I'm sure you knew that already. Right here we have leaves make food for the tree from sunlight, water, and air. Green stuff in the leaves helps make them food. It also makes the leaves green. So what would be the cause of leaves making food? What causes it? What happens first, right? They get from the sunlight, water, and air. So they have to get those things before they can make the food. So they get these things, the effect, the result, they make the food. And this heading is summer. Leaves are green in the summer because they are making food. The tree saves some of the food for winter. So what causes them to be green? That's because they are making their food. And that's pretty cool. Trees save some of the food for winter, kind of like how some animals gather a bunch of nuts up and they save that for the winter. Here's our heading, fall. In fall, the weather changes. The days get shorter and the nights get longer. Trees get less sunlight, so they make less food, okay? My question to you is what is the cause of them making less food? What happens first? The trees get less sunlight happens first. The result, the effect is that they make less food. The leaves stop making the green color. Other colors that were under the green start to show. Leaves turn brown or turn yellow, orange, brown, and red. And why do they change colors? Because the leaves are making less green and these other colors were already there. Here's our winter. Mm, looks cold. Winter's my favorite season. Trees drop their leaves to get ready for winter. They use the food they save to get through the cold days and nights. Okay, so how do they survive the cold days and nights? What's the cause of that? They use the food that they save. The result, they get through the cold. That's why they don't all die in the winter time. Spring comes, ice and snow melt and rain falls, the sun shines and now new leaves grow on the trees. And the green leaves start making food again, okay? So right there, we did some cause and effect with our leaves. Now we're going to do cause and effect with fighting colds. Remember, our cause comes first, our effect comes second. That's the result. 
Okay, so go ahead and grab a pencil and your worksheet and we're gonna do it together. You're gonna write as I write too.